Hello everyone, welcome to External Star Channel. My name is Marek and today um, I will be unboxing something quite unusual. I will be actually unboxing and reviewing this beautiful Maybach 57S by Audoart Millennium. This is so far my most expensive model in my collection, 450 US dollars and it's really rare. And I want to share my feelings, so uh, I will also be for the first time using uh, this GoPro camera. So, yes, we are here to check it out together. And to cover the cost, uh, I also had to sell something. So, to buy one, I need to sell all of these. Yeah, and. Um, I can tell you that the one that I'm planning to buy is very, very expensive. So I really need to get rid of all those beautiful models that most of them I already reviewed. Uh, so you can watch them on my channel. Uh, it's this Lamborghini Salt, this Mercedes-Benz Salt, uh, BMW M4 Salt, uh, this Mercedes-Benz C-Class uh, Cabrio Salt. This one, I don't even know what this is, but it's Salt. <laughs> uh, then this this beautiful GLC uh, Mercedes-Benz by iScale sold. I also sold this Phaeton uh, and the new owner will definitely appreciate it. I also sold the uh, BMW 7 uh, by KK scale. Uh, here you can see the picture. And I also sold this one. I don't even know uh, what it is because <laughs> it's not a transparent box. Oh yeah, I remember this. I think this one or this one, one of them is also the Bentley uh, Flying Spur, the white one. I'm keeping only the purple one. Okay, so uh, all of these models uh, would be replaced just uh, for one another model, which is very precious and I am really looking forward to receiving it uh, from Hong Kong. It's already on its way and actually all of these are already sold in auctions and uh, today I will be sending them to the new owner. Okay, so let me just first uh, unbox the box very quickly and maybe also carefully because of course this was so expensive and it's so rare that I don't want to scratch anything, do anything wrong. Of course, it's not brand new. It, it's a second hand or already uh, used by somebody else, but hopefully it's a, in a good shape. Yeah. So maybe first check the box here. Uh, all right, so here you can see the Maybach 57S. Really a beautiful one and I actually already have the regular 57 but it's not entirely black so it's brown and black but this one is completely black and it also has different wheels here so I was really looking forward because these are nicer than on the regular one and what else is here? This, there's also a side view and actually uh, some something here. And I was actually waiting for this one two months, yeah, two long months before I got it. And it really took a lot of time. And I must say it was really something. Yeah. So now let me let me first uh, remove this cover and then we will continue. Okay. We can see three towels there, so three towels. And I'm quite curious now to remove it if this will be okay, because 450 what I paid. Okay, so towel number one, towel number two, towel number three. Okay, they are all gone. And here is the car. Oh, it's, it's quite beautiful. Let me also check here. Okay, the front grille. Everything looks fine. But I also need to check really, I need to remove the screws now uh, and see if everything is okay. Maybe what I should do is to first, let's say, okay, check here, four screws, it should be okay. Okay, so I will use my screwdriver. I actually have this mini, mini screwdriver, it's really small and uh, now I want to use it to remove this car. Uh, from the box so hopefully it will be okay here we go 
I'm wondering if the car is out of the box for the first time or not. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so, wow. It's so beautiful. So, so beautiful. Maybe let me adjust the camera a little bit here. Okay, so that you can see it very clearly. Okay, I think like that, it's okay. And now, uh, what I'm gonna do is actually um, use also this small camera here to give you some good impression uh, about the details. So yeah, uh, let me just do that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I will start my review as usually here at the front. And as you can see, it's really beautiful how those lights are very clear and transparent. So nothing is blurry, nothing is wrong. It's completely right. And there are also no gaps around. It's precise, like, I don't know, it's very precise. And then here, this original uh, logo by AutoArt is also very beautiful. And as I said, I will need to fix this part here and somehow glue it back in. So. Yeah, this is a problem now and I don't think it's a huge problem because nothing is scratched, nothing is wrong. I'm just saying that uh, this needs to be fixed. On the license plate you can already see Maybach 57S, so this is the most precious uh, auto art Maybach, maybe after 62. I'm not sure what is more precious, if 62 or 57S. Yeah, definitely both of them are very rare and uh, I like owning them. <laughs> so. What is also very fascinating here is this little uh, air intake, or is it, I don't know, but you can see the net or uh, this precisely shaped uh, part. And this is amazing because it's transparent and wow, it's so detailed, like nothing else. <laughs> and also here, the front grille, you can actually see through it because it's uh, perforated and you can see the ventilator now uh, I can also remove it because it's possible. It should be possible now, okay? So you can also see the ventilator or uh, everything here inside. So this is quite also rare. Not everybody will show you this. And then we have the engine part. And then uh, I think it's also quite detailed. Let me maybe use my GoPro camera to show you uh, what is actually inside. So. Yeah, hopefully it's somehow focused here and quite detailed. Uh, yeah, so uh, all the parts are quite visible here. And um, I must really say that this is something amazing. Yeah, so let me just focus here one more time to show you all the details. So the Maybach logo, the battery in the back, it's, it's a white uh, compartment. Then all the tops, like to change the oil, uh, here another battery, so wow, all the cables, it's quite nice. I must say, they really paid a lot of attention to the engine bay and it's beautiful. Okay, so let's, let me just close uh, the hood here and also show you uh, here the wheels. Okay, so let me maybe also change the camera angle a, a little bit again, okay, and here, okay. So, the whole car from the side looks amazing because it's quite long, yeah, it's very, very long actually. As you can see, uh, the wheels are turning, uh, spinning, everything, so fully functional. And if I focus here on this detail, uh, then you would also see that there is a brake disc and actually not only one, but two brake calipers. This is amazing. I have never seen a car with two brake calipers, to be honest, maybe some sports car. But this car is probably so heavy that they need two, okay? Then uh, it feels like real rubber, so it's really perfect. The Maybach logo in the, in the uh, middle. And what I can also see that uh, the screw, there are five screws but one of them is not shiny, uh, the top one. You, can you see? Uh, it's not really shiny. Maybe something is missing there. The color on the screw is not reflective at all. I don't know if this is correct or not. Uh, probably not. And there is a dust particle here. Okay, uh, I think there will be more and more dust uh, during my review. So let me just 
go back and show you maybe also here uh, the back part. Okay, so uh, what I will do is that um, I will now uh, put this uh, front grill aside so it doesn't doesn't bother us anymore and I'll put it here and actually what I can do now is also to review um, the back of the car so let me just change uh, the zoom a little bit and here this Maybach 57S again the license plate and you can also see here uh, the Maybach uh, sign here the logo which is amazingly precise and the 57 s the s is very important as i already mentioned if you buy without s it's cheaper and it's not so rare there are many my box without this s but s means like the best trim available uh, it's completely black there's also one completely white it also has different wheels and overall uh, if you manage to buy this s you would be very satisfied no worries okay so let me just also open open the trunk here to see what is there okay so maybe also shift the camera here a little bit uh, my gopro yeah so can you see what is inside maybe not so let me let me maybe uh, use this camera that i have here in front of me and you can see maybe this little net uh, which is here yeah let me also uh, zoom in a little bit so there is a net actually and it's beautiful also the carpeting all over uh, this compartment or all over the trunk uh, area and here there is also this protective uh, cover so uh, people are interested in is the exhaust so here we have two exhausts actually quite nicely done uh, and when I close close it now I also wanted to show you from the uh, from the bottom like what is actually there so 1 to 18 Maiba uh, and what is here crafted in China so not made in China but crafted in China yeah, because it's it's a piece of art actually it's not just a product it was crafted in China and Okay, so let me maybe also toggle it a little bit. So this is Auto Art product. Uh, it's the Millennium, uh, Millennium Auto Art, so quite precise and everything here is working. There's also a working suspension I will show you in a moment. Uh, you can see the exhaust going all the way down. So, I mean, all of the details are here present. And now uh, I will also show you how uh, to work with the suspension so yes when I press it here it's really there it's working yeah some dust here dust particles I hate it uh, and in the back it's not working so much it's there but it's not working that much and also are there two brake calipers or only one um, in the back so actually uh, in the back there's only one brake caliper uh, in the front there are two uh, so that's also something uh, to mention here a quite interesting fact and maybe now uh, also the roof so there is uh, actually a sunroof so you can see through it and now I think everybody's also awaiting what is inside so yeah I will open the door for you I will open it oh it's gonna be open quite wide and now also to show you actually what is inside right so it's quite amazing let's me start in the front and here let me also check if this uh, camera can go a little bit inside it seems like yeah just a little bit this GoPro is not uh, not that good as my Samsung S10 uh, it's a little bit better so I also see better quality of the image here and yeah you can see the steering wheel now so uh, here actually is connected to the wheels so I can I can turn the wheels they are connected to the steering wheel and then on the screen in the middle actually there is just a blue screen and nothing is visible I'm a little bit disappointed because I would expect that something would be on that screen maybe a navigation or radio but there's actually nothing 
but then this imitation of wood everywhere the seats are also quite nice we have also the seat belts here uh, with the, they are a little bit yellowish uh, and then the massive chairs not just seats I would call them chairs okay so that's the front also here uh, when I check the uh, gouges and clusters I think it's nicely visible yeah here so that's really something great also you can see all the pedals so accelerate accelerator and brake um, very nice and then also here the inside of the door uh, very nicely done you can see oh, wow all the buttons here imitation of wood but here uh, there is actually no compartment to put your uh, bottle of wine whiskey or water <laughs> yeah maybe in the back because of course uh, in the back it's more luxurious and I just noticed that maybe this part can be moved here so let me use this screwdriver to check it out no it looks like it can be opened but actually the the reality is that it cannot yeah so yeah sorry guys uh, this one cannot be pulled up no it's just fixed in this position and then there are also actually here a uh, screen LCD screens but again nothing is on them so that's that's a shame I would say that's a shame all right so that's the interior uh, maybe let's also rotate the car a little bit to show it to you from the other side okay so here you can see again the radio uh, here the glove compartment it cannot be open I have some cars where you can open this glove compartment here not on this one yeah but here the transmission um, or uh, the shift stick uh, gear stick is quite nicely done and the radio all the buttons quite precise yeah so maybe only my complaint would be here so uh, the air conditioning this is not that precisely done okay so it could be perforated maybe uh, colored uh, by black or something it doesn't look so nice so that's some minus points here uh, for this part here uh, air conditioning not that nice okay so let me also open this door one more time so from this angle you can again see the carpeting here so it's also very nice to touch it <laughs> quite good feeling and yeah so that's basically well let me just open everything here uh, change the camera a little bit okay so that's the Maybach uh, 57s by auto art and actually what do you think about this model uh, do you like it or do you hate it I personally think that this is an awesome model and definitely a masterpiece in my collection so I like it so much then I was actually waiting for this one like for one or two years already and now I finally found it I have it in my collection and what I can also do is that I can sell my regular 57 yeah, because I don't need it anymore if I have this rare piece why would I keep 57 regular okay so guys thank you very much and maybe one more thing so please like comment subscribe and ring that bell thank you very much for watching now on the time for the final review so i hope you enjoyed and see you next time bye bye